Hey everyone, Jessica here. So on the last tutorial I had um, teased you about being able to make your own metallic color palettes that are not, you know, your typical metal colors like I have already made for you, like gold, silver, rose gold, copper. So what if you want something blue or purple or green or whatever? So I'm going to show you how easy it is. So I've got um, a workspace here opened and then I've got my sidebar palette opened next to it. And as you can see we have our original gold normally um, showing by default. And then I've got three adjustment layers above, the, above them and now I'm going to show you how to use them. So uh, first of all I turn on my desaturate layer and then I will turn on my darken layer and this layer controls the um, you know the darkness or lightness of the stroke. So Sometimes you might want to make a very light color and uh, like a light colored stroke. So you might want to take that darken down a bit or you can, the opacity of that layer, or you can go to a hundred and make it really more dramatic. And then you're going to have like dark, like very darker strokes or a, like a very visible light to dark streaks in them. So um, normally it's about 50. And then above that we have a color layer, which simply colorizes everything. And normally I leave that at 100, it's fine. And as a default, we have a little pink here, but I'm gonna double click in this and I'm gonna put a blue and I'll click okay. But I have a feeling that I, this is gonna turn out to be like a kind of a lighter stroke than maybe I want. So I'm gonna go to my darken layer and I'm gonna turn up the opacity of that a little bit. So that way I can have like a little bit more of a dramatic stroke and Sometimes it just takes some playing with, you know, you can play around with it and see how, you know, see how it turns out and then you can come back and darken it, you know, make it darker or whatever. So I've got my, I've got it how I want. I've got a blue color palette here. Now I'm going to create a new layer above those adjustment layers and I'm going to hold down the option key or if you're on a PC, hold down the alt key. So just hold that down. And I'm going to go over here to layer and merge visible. And that's going to merge uh, a copy of everything that's visible onto a new layer without uh, messing up these layers here. So now I've got that blue all on its own layer and now I can sample from it. So I'm just going to grab one of my brushes here. So let's grab one of my faves, brush number nine. And of course, you know, if I go over here and paint, it's going to be in gold automatically. And so now I'm just going to go over my sidebar palette and I'm going to click option and click somewhere on here. And then I will go over here and now that's a blue stroke. So now you have um, uh, a blue stroke and then you can, you know, uh, it's not an overlay so that that way, you know, if you take another brush and you want it to mix and look really cool, it's all going to be, you know, really good, ready to go. And now let's go back to my brushes here. Like, um, I was on gold nine. If I wanted like a little bit darker, I could go over here to this darker area on my palette and click option click and then, or alt, and that's like a darker one. So it's cool, so you can get all different kinds of effects. And um, so that's about it. So it's really fun. Um, I'm gonna do one of the, I'm gonna do one of the liquid strokes here, see if I can have a little fun with that. Let's deselect here. I'm gonna go option, I'm over here on my sidebar palette, option click. Oops, I just cut that. Let's go back here, deselect. Go onto that layer, option click. Got a nice blue. And now I'm gonna go onto here. And that looks really quite cool. And you can, you know, sample from different areas of the image for different effects. So I'm gonna go down to the darker area, option click. And let's go over here. That makes a really richer stroke. And now, like I was saying, I'm going to hide that layer here. If I'm saying, okay, these are cool, but I want it a little bit darker, a little bit richer, I can just go back to my darken layer. Oh, wait, I don't have to do that. And maybe take the opacity up to 100. And now I'll create another layer and hold down my option key, layer, merge visible. Now I have a new darker palette to choose from. 
So now if I go over here and option select from somewhere on my image and then go over here to my workspace, now it's like a deeper, richer color. And I'm going to show you on one of the, the brushes here. So let's option click, go over here. And now it's got like a different, you know, a darker, deeper blue. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Make your own palettes and, you know, you can leave them here or delete them when you're done. But the cool thing is, is, you know, just turn those adjustment layers off and then you'll see your original gold. But that's how easy it is to make your own colored palettes. And it's really different than just adding a color overlay because then whenever you, add, maybe you want to mix and use a brush, brush to, to streak it, then you're going to have those colors interacting and mixing like you would, you know, on, I wouldn't say reality because it's pretty fantastic, the, the sort of things we're doing. But um, yeah, you can have that realistic look of those colors blending. So it's super fun. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and have a lot of fun playing with this. And then don't forget to, if you make something, feel free to tag me at Creators Couture and stay tuned for lots of new fun videos every week.